Hello everybody and welcome to another section of EMS App Review. This is Keith Woodmeyer and today we are going over a really cool app called Resuscitation. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up right here. It is available for both the iPhone and uh, the iPad. And we'll go ahead and get started. The app itself is free, but you can go ahead and download some in-app purchases. The, when you download the free version, you get, I think it was probably four or five cases, and then you get about 30 more cases if you pay the $3.99 that are just related to uh, emergency, and you get a, several other cases that are related to uh, emergency neurology if you go ahead and pay an additional $2.99. So we'll go ahead and go through, and we'll play a case here. I'll go ahead and pick one that I've already done. You can see here there's uh, multiple cases with with multiple etiologies that are um, pretty interesting here. You've got seizures, you've got difficulty breathing, motor vehicle collisions. And we'll go ahead and go to this chest pain here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you start out, it gives you uh, history of the present illness, goes over a 55 year old male presenting with left side of chest pressure <clears throat> excuse me and you can go all the way through and read through their history you can see the medications that the patient is on uh, you can see their family history their social history and at this point you can go ahead and start performing some interventions so you can go ahead and place two IVs you can go ahead and place them on the monitor you know give you your blood pressure your respiratory rate sats all that good stuff you can go ahead and put them on some oxygen here <clears throat> and just based off of what we've got going on so far we can go ahead and start placing some orders you know um, we have a decent blood pressure so we can go ahead get some morphine on board we've got you know, our morphine, aspirin, nitro, oxygen, so we've got our Mona down. And we can go ahead and go to our exam a little bit. Um, here it gives you a brief basic exam going over um, what's going on. You've got your ABCs, your airway breathing circulation, uh, all the way down through head, eyes, ears, nose, throat, neck, respiratory, all of that good stuff. You can see your cardiovascular, you've got a regular rate and rhythm, um, abdomen soft, non-tender, uh, non-distended. You can go all the way through. I'm not going to read everything for you guys. Uh, just kind of hit some of the high notes, you know, skin, some mild diaphoresis. And then you can go ahead and do a detailed exam. And we'll just go ahead and hit some of the high notes again. Uh, cardiovascular, there's uh, no murmurs, rubs, scalps, uh, PMIs, dime sized, no, li uh, no lifts. And then uh, respiratory, normal expiratory ratio, no wheezing, rails, all that good stuff. So you can see you can click on every one of these and you can get a little bit of information going throughout. And um, now we can go ahead and start doing some differentials based off of everything you know, he was presenting. Um, the left side of chest pressure, obviously we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and suspect uh, AMI. Um, we can go ahead, CHF, not, you know. Absolute, uh, but definitely something we can consider as a differential. Um, aortic dissection, we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Um, there it is, esophageal rupture, you know, that could be a possibility. And we'll go down to some respiratory stuff. And we'll say pneumo and PE. So, we gotta go ahead and place some orders. Let's go ahead and get x ray. Um, this is a hospital setting, so definitely a cardiac consult. Um, probably a respiratory consult. Yeah, we probably go without the respiratory consult. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and do some bedside exams. We can go ahead and get an ECG. We can do a cardiac echo, and we'll do a finger stick glucose blood tests. We'll go ahead and do a CBC chemistries. We'll go ahead and get a BMP, calcium, magnesium, uh, CKMB, 
and you know, being a cardiac possibility and all, we'll go ahead and get a troponins, coags, PT, PTT, INR, blood gas, we can go ahead and do an ABG. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I'm sure I've missed some things on here. But we'll go ahead and we'll place our orders. And now it's going to come back. It's going to give all the interventions that we've recommended. And it'll come up with the, um, the diagnostics that we requested. This is one of the downsides to this. I don't, I'm not a fan of the EKGs on here. But um, it does appear that we've got some uh, elevation in V2, V3, V4, and V5. So we could say we've got uh, septal anterior involvement in here. And then it does, the chest x-ray is actually not a bad chest x-ray. Um, pretty clear, um, yeah, no significant infiltrates, hearts, normal size, all that good stuff there. Um, finger stick glucose was uh, within normal limits. And um, you can see it's actually grading you on this uh, over here. It's telling what interventions you've done that are required, which are in green, which ones you've done that are neutral or unnecessary, which are in yellow, which the, I think it's got the CKMB, the ABG, the finger stick were neutrals. And um, anything that you do that's potentially harmful is in red. So then we can go ahead um, we got all of our results here. We see our troponin is elevated. Um, our cardiac consult says uh, that they are ready to take the patient to the cath lab. So we're definitely leaning towards an MI here. So we can get our final diagnosis of MI. And we can go ahead and admit to the OR for a procedure. Now when you're finished, it'll go ahead and grade you. You get uh, gradings anywhere from a student to a resident to attending based on how you performed, how many interventions you got right. Um, you can see here we hit a good portion of them. Um, we got 30 out of 30 for our um, diagnosis, uh, 15 out of 15 for our disposition, 20 out of 20 for our differentials. We missed some critical actions apparently. Um, Oh, we forgot to give Plavix um, and forgot to give Heparin. Let's see. Bonus actions. Some other things we missed. We could have given them Integralin and uh, Rectal Exam. But we didn't do anything harmful, which is definitely good. This is really good down here at the bottom. You can actually, you know, it's nice to be able to post your score to Facebook. You can also... Um, you know, post comments, things like that. But this one thing here, email authors on this case. I've actually done this uh, two or three times on a few different cases, and the authors are absolutely phenomenal with getting back to you. Um, just asking questions about, you know, if I did procedure X, why was that marked as harmful, or why was it marked as incorrect, you know, neutral, whatever it was. And they, they come back with some really good answers. I think one at uh, one point um, I had something that was harmful. I think it was an ABG, and they said, "Well, it really shouldn't be harmful. We'll go ahead and update it and make it a neutral intervention," which I thought was pretty good. And they usually get back. I've had them get back to me within 48 hours. They're pretty quick. All in all, I I think this app for is simplistic. It's not overly interactive. It's not a bunch of graphics and you know really great animations. But the information is fantastic. It really is. And it's just, there's so much information in here. There's so many different cases you can get. It's really just an overall awesome app. I hope you guys enjoyed going through that one case and enjoyed checking out this app. Again, it is uh, Resuscitation. Um, this is Keith Widmeyer with EMS App Review.